YouTubers, this is Andrew from Megatronics and today we are going to work on a Bluetooth model, the HCO5 to be specific. And what we are actually going to do today is that we are going to work on the two modes of it. That is the first, we are going to work on the AT mode and that one has to do with uh, you finding out your password and also the, the MAC address of your Bluetooth model. And the second part of it is, is going to be the workable mode. That is reconnecting output devices like the buzzer, the LED turret, and controlling it via a mobile phone. As my colleague said, we are going to work it into modes, the 18 mode. So for now, what we need for the 18 mode is our HC43 model, which is this Bluetooth model, and our Arduino. So we are going to just use this and test it in the AT mode. So without much wasting much time, we also need uh, an empty skit. So you have to upload an empty skit onto our Arduino and then do some little parameter check before we can be able to set our model into the AT mode. So without much ado, let's get to the code and then let's go on. So as I said, we have an empty sketch in here. So what we need to do is make sure we are um, sending it onto the right board, which is the Uno already, and then we have to change the the terminals on on the Arduino. So we compile. There are no errors. So with the Arduino, when you are uploading the code, they are close. Okay, the code has not been uploaded. We have to change some parameters on it. First of all, we need to change this to the both NLC and CR, and also change the baud rate to 38400 baud rate. So with this, we can be able to use this uh, serial monitor to do our check on the Arduino. So we are good with this, and then so from here we have to go and do the real connection from the HC05 model. Okay, so now. This is our HC05 model, and this is the Arduino Uno. So you're going to do the connection so that you all see how it's done. From first, we have our EN on the EN pin. Yeah. On our EN pin, which is this blue pin, it has to be connected to the Arduino pin 3.3 volts. So on our Arduino, we locate the three, the pin 3.3 volts, which will be somewhere here. That pin 3.0 volts. Okay, a little bit not blur. Okay, but I think you get it on that thing, pin 3.3 volts, which would be pin ground ground 5 volts, which would be here. Yeah. So the 3.3 volts will be here, and then our VCC, our VCC, which is the pin, will have to go to 5 volts on the Arduino. Okay. So 5 volts on the Arduino, which is here. Okay, and then our GND pin, which will be this pin, has to go to the ground. The same ground. Okay, and then what we have left will be our TX pin and then the RX pin. So with this, we are going to do the hardware serial on the Arduino Uno. So with the hardware serial, we are going to use TX, RX on the HC model will go to pin 0 on the RX pin of the Arduino. So RX to RX, which will be pin 0. And then TX will also go to TX on the Arduino, which will be pin 1. So mind you, we are using the hardware serial to do this communication on the uh, HC05 model. So this will be the whole connections of the HC05 model on the Arduino. Remote. But first of all, when you are going to power it up, you must first take off the 5 volts. Okay? We have to take off the 5 volts. And when we connect the power to the Arduino, we must make sure that <clears throat> the 5 volts is out and when we connect the Arduino to power we keep our hands on the reset pin 
on the HC05 for some time and when does the this reset pin this reset pin so we keep our hands on it for some time and before we insert in the 5 volts pin so I'm going to do it for you so that you see how it's done please be careful and then don't tolerate any other thing so I as I insert the pin the Arduino into the uh, system we have power onto our system right so I keep my hands on the reset pin and I insert in the 5 volts onto my Arduino so the 5 volts is in you are supposed to get the the LED has to blink for some few seventy seconds okay then we take off our hand now we go back to the the software serial and then we zoom we take we bring out our serial monitor so okay yeah so this is our serial monitor and this is what you are going to do the coding so what we have to do is input in the command at and we send it okay we have an error which means it's not yet set into that pin the at mode yet so we still do the at command again a t and okay so we are now set our uh, hc0305 uh, model into the at command now you want to know the password of our bluetooth model so we set in this command to which is the at plus pass p s w d that's password question mark and we hit the enter so our password is what one two three four okay so we know our password now you want to know the mac address that's the physical address of our system so we key in the word to a t a t um a plus a d d r with a question mark okay so we send that one okay so it comes back with our mac address which is 98d3 blah 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 okay so now we've been able to know the password and also the mac address of our device so we can locate it anywhere on our bluetooth model so now we are done with the at mode command we now have to go to using the model for our connection that's turning on an led or getting an information from all all these things so without wasting much time let's get to the other parts of the code okay so for the second part of this project we are going to use the model the budget model to control the buzzer and some rgb using an android call android app called Arduino. the Arduino. so what you're going to do first is going to do the setup the physical connections of the devices so what i need to do first is do my connection of my uh, bluetooth model so first from our bluetooth model you can see we have the vcc the ground tx and iris so our vcc which will be this pin has to go to um that's the five volts on the arduino and i have brought the vcc and ground onto my breadboard so this goes to vcc which will be this the five volts and then my ground pin goes to <clears throat> my ground and then the tx pin now goes to pin 0 on the Arduino so pin 0 on the Arduino and our RX pin RX pin from from research that I've done you know the RX pin is supposed to the Arduino is supposed to give 5 volts to the Bluetooth model but the Bluetooth model on the RX pin will have to only take 3.3 .3 volts so we need to bring in a voltage divider therefore we just need two resistors one of which is supposed to be 2k ohm and the other is supposed to be 1k ohm so with a 2k ohm it has to be in parallel with the 1k resistor 
so just make some connections here and then there so they'll be in parallel so my rx pin will then be sent to the midpoint of those resistors that i suggest and i sent so that's the rx pin will come in here and from the 1k i pick it and i send it to the pin one on the arduino so this goes to pin one on the arduino and the other part of the second does a 2k ohm resistor goes to the ground which will be on this same board so then the arduino has then been the bluetooth model has now been connected fully now the other part will be connecting the rgb the rgb so i connect the ground to the ground and then the red pin goes to any of the pins i'm using it as three and the green goes to four the green goes to five R is four and then the blue goes to six and also our buzzer will be connected to the keep and ground goes to the ground the same ground on the board and then my voltage i pick and send it to any of the pin which will be say my pin nine so eight nine also you want to add a an ultrasonic sensor okay so that we can also get data from the arduino so the ultrasonic to my voltage my volts it five volts goes to the five volts okay and then my ground also goes to the ground and from the code that I've already done on my Arduino solve, my trigger pin of this ultrasonic has to go to pin 12. So pin 12, which is here, that's my trigger pin. And then my echo pin has to go on pin 11, which should be here. Okay, so now my ultrasonic 2 is connected. My buzzer is connected, RGB is already connected, and everything is connected. So I have to then upload the code onto the Arduino Uno. But mainly, we are using the RSNT as the hardware serial of the Bluetooth model. So, in order to forgo any interruption with the code when uploading, we just take the RSNT as well before we do the upload. So, and now how to upload the code here is my code that is the code that i'm going to upload and i make sure my board is selected sorry the board of my uno is selected and i do the upload but then i have to change those parameters that i use for the ac mode so I just have to be no line ending and the board rate I'm using is 9600 yeah so now everything is okay so I'll just put it back and then my senior monitor everything is okay we are going to use an android app called the Arduid by TechBit Tech so that is the app that we are going to use to do the conversation for the Bluetooth model and the Arduino. So I'll just tap on it and this is the interface of the of the app. So I need to connect to my Bluetooth model. So connecting I have to connect to the device. And the Bluetooth model in question is the HC05, isn't it? So we have the HC05. That's this one and I'm now connected to it so as I said now we are now connected to the Bluetooth model 
and we know that our RGBs are connected to the pin 4, 5 and 6. So on our uh, interface, on pin 4, when we hit it, okay, now we can see that our red LED is on. When we hit the same pin 4, it goes off. On pin 5, our green is there. When we hit it, it goes off. On pin 6, our blue is there. Hit it, it goes off. And then on pin 9, our buzzer is there. So, mind you, the pin 9 is a pulse with modulator signal pin, which we can also use to control the, the voltage being supplied to the buzzer on pin 9. So, pin 9, as the buzzer is connected, we can also use these pins to check the, to send uh, voltages, pulse width voltage to the buzzer. So, pin 9, see? the sounding of the buzzer, we can increase it, we are increasing it, increasing it, or we can decrease it. The same applies to the RGBs too, on pin 4, pin 4, so the pin 4 is red, right? So on pin 4, we can also come and give it, on pin 3, sorry, 3 pin, pin 5 is uh, green, okay, so pin 5 too is a PWM pin, for which we can also control that, so pin 5, which is here. You can also see the brightness as we increase it, it goes high. As we decrease it, it goes down. The same applies to that. Applies to the source. So we have six, five, and four. So yeah, and then our buzzer is on. Now. Also, we can also get data from our ultrasonic by using this um, section of pin so we have connected that pin that interface to the uh, ultrasonic okay we can also get data from the arduino to our android app by using this um, column of from our, from our interface to get data so we are going to get data from the ultrasonic sensor so right now if it's supposed to get data you are getting 13 centimeters so that means that's the centimeters from here from this object to the ultrasonic so when we come close and we also get data what are we supposed to get our data now changes to eight centimeters okay so in real time whatever we do you can get data straight from there 18 yeah so now this is what the android app can do for us and this is what we have also demonstrated to you so we can employ and deploy this thing in all your projects and it's so awesome that it's so good for you and i'd like to thank you for viewing and i hope you like this video uh, subscribe to our youtube channel and then like our videos we will be more pleased to have you join our team so that we can make this thing happen thank you for viewing and say bye bye